But I think the question is just, are you even pursuing it? Is that ideal? Um, Cause so many of us usually do the opposite. We turn our backs and run. What's up guys, Jeff and Jeremy here. Another episode of Five Minute Fatherhood. Uh, a topic we wanna chat about or a challenge we have for you today is are you preparing to be near your future grandchildren? Now, of course this isn't possible for every single person, but again, there's these things where are we planning? Are we preparing? Is there an ideal that we're pointed towards? And then we let the chips fall where they may. So preparing to be near your future grandchildren. Jeremy, I'm interested to hear what you think, why this is important, what the point is, if there's any data here. I, I know you have an article here in the notes, um, but I'm trying to think of that other one that we posted in Five Minute Fatherhood a couple of months ago where there's, yeah, there is data to support even like, you know, a, if a grandmother's around, I don't think it was talking about even yeah. being, you know, living near, but if a grandmother's in, the, in your home more, that does things to like your kid's mental health, that does things to the mom mom's mental health and uh, sustainability and flourishing and all these different things. So there's a lot, this conversation is bubbling up, which is really fascinating. But yeah, what, what would you say on this one? Yeah, guys, when we talk about the importance of, of the Bible really articulating a vision of family that is multi-generational, when we say that, um, we're saying that God designed it so that the generations would interact. And we live in a culture that just does not value that very much. If you see your grandparents three or four times a year, we're like, that's cool, that's good enough. Um, you know, and for some families, we get it, like maybe at the upstream generations, things aren't super healthy. But every one of us can be thinking about going downstream. Is, is it in our heads, in our hearts, in our vision that we want to be around our grandchildren? And do we want to be really uh, presenting that vision? And so I love it when I see data s sort of like trying to, to research yes, the impact of this. And, uh, you know, it says, uh, so in the University of Oxford, Professor um, Buchanan did a, did a case study of 1,600 children between the ages of 11 and 16. Um, and that shows, says that growing up with grandparents who live nearby provides greater security in respect to those children uh, who only grow up with their parents. This is uh, some of what uh, this describes. Grandparents are able to transmit great emotional security to their grandchildren and have a positive impact on all aspects of their lives. Think of their importance even in the presence of divorces or family conflicts. Often in these situations, the grandparents are those who most function, support, uh, as support and refuge for their grandchildren and act as a pillow on which they can always lean and rest and shel uh, sheltered from everything. This is because grandparents greatly alleviate the burden of those parents who are perhaps working full-time and are therefore prefer to entrust their children to their care rather than strangers. Moreover, grandparents offer concrete and affordable help based on care and attention that is full of sincere affection. And so, guys, family is really challenging. We don't know what kinds of crises what kinds of events are going to happen in our lives. We need a, a, a greater amount of stability. Uh, there's sort of a vision that our culture sort of is presenting, which is every person uh, is an individual, and then the government will provide sort of a security blanket for each individual. This will allow us to be completely um, self-sufficient from family. So that's one vision, and that's a vision that, that our culture is really pursuing in many ways. But another vision is that God designed us to live in a network of, of, a, of a strong family network that includes yeah. um, upstream and downstream generations. And all of us can be really cultivating the kinds of the kind of family culture that will allow us to experience, allow us and our grandchildren to experience that kind of a support from us. And so have you thought that through a lot of the times we talk about even your career pathing, um, where you live, how big of a deal is it that you want to be available to be a, a real uh, bulwark, a pillar in the lives of your grandchildren? That's a vision that is really, it's, I think it's important to, to make concrete and practical as you're raising your family. But yeah, Jeff, any other thoughts you've had on this one? No, I just agree. And I think it's so super important. And yeah, you know, um, when you see, when you do get in that orb and that that web of 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 networking close, you see just the million intangible ways that it's also really practical and helpful and and meant to be that way. Um, and so, of course, you know, like even us, like half of my family, you know, my family lives in Washington. Alyssa's parents live here. So there's a level at which, man, I wish we were all here, but we can't be. There's different circumstances and all that stuff. I miss my family, love my family, wish we were there. Um, there's so many different ways this can play out. Um, but I think the question is just, are you even pursuing it? Is that ideal? Because um, so many of us we usually do the opposite. We turn our backs and run. And that's what I think we need to make sure that, mm -hmm. that even the data is supporting that that's not helpful.